We came here to escape the chaos of Earth. Our people were trapped at the heart of far too many conflicts over the centuries. Assailed from all sides by those who wish to harm or exploit us. Only by removing ourselves from their world could we ever truly hope to find peace. So, tell us, my dear. Why have you opened our doors to the same chaos we fought so hard to leave behind? No matter how we may try to cut ourselves off from our home planet, my queen, we still have friends and allies who need our help. Who are we to ignore their plight? We are inhumans. As both humans and mutants alike have repeatedly reminded us. We stand alone. And unless your friends can convince the king otherwise... So do they. <coughs> For the sake of my sister, I will hear what you have come to say. But I guarantee no more. Now speak. We know of these stones. And the fact that you would bring them here puts all of Adeline in jeopardy. Such recklessness is typical of your kind. That time has long since passed. We have been hunted by humans for centuries. The scars from our war with the mutants are still fresh. The only allies we have left dwell within this city. The Inhumans hide from no one. Our removal from Earth was a strategic maneuver for the protection of our people. I... cannot. Adelon may be among the stars now, but Earth will always be our home. I believe my king would agree. Our cousin Gorgon will escort you to the lab. Gorgon has been gravely wounded. You must attend to him immediately. I'll see what I can do, Your Majesty. There you go, big guy. This should stop the bleeding. Before you know it, you'll be back on your feet. Or uh, hooves. Some sort of amber. Intriguing. 
I don't believe we've had the pleasure, young man. Huh? Oh. Few have. Thane came to us from the inhuman colony of Orlan, seeking sanctuary. Sanctuary? Hmm. From what, pray tell? Not what, but rather who? My father. Turns out he's a maniacal alien warlord bent on universal domination. And for some reason, he really wants me dead. His name is Thanos. If you are lucky, you've never heard of him. Luck hasn't exactly been on our side today, my boy. But I have a feeling that may be about to change. How can I help you? So I'm told. I've never actually met him, and I can't say I'm too upset about that fact. Seeing that he tried to have me killed as soon as he found out about me. A bit of both. My mother was an inhuman from the lost city of Orlan. After the Black Order decimated our colony to get to me, I had no choice but to flee here. Only legends, and none of them end well. If my father wants them so badly, though, I've got to believe some of them are true. Let's hope so. Until then, I have a patient to tend to. Somewhere safe. I'll try to rest and... No. Nowhere in Ottoman is safe. I remember now. He's lost his twisted mind. Again. Oh, come now, cousin. <laughs> is that any way to talk about the new king of the Inhumans? <laughs> on the Alpha Primitives. I should have known you were behind this, Maximus. Only you could stay and betray our people. I am nothing if not predictable. Isn't that right, brother? <laughs> ah, the silent treatment, as always. But I'll give you something to talk about. You may have power, but you lack imagination. It is time that someone with true vision took the throne. The Inhumans are the closest thing to a family I have now. I'm not a fighter. I guess this is my battle. This isn't the first time Maximus has tried to claim the throne for his brother. The guy's a brilliant inventor, but he's never been quite right in the head. Still, mad or not, he is mad. We refuse to give up on him, even if he refuses to change his ways. This should be an interesting change of pace. Your pathetic attempts to resist are almost adorable. What a joke!
Add to board. If you're done, I have a city to rule. The time for the throne is about to expire. Over here. I can generate enough amber to protect you. Is it clear uh, now who wears the crown? What can I do for you? Maybe. But if the Black Order is out there searching for it, Having me on your side might put you in even more danger. I can't take that chance. Well, when you put it that way... Right. No pressure. This is Witcher Soldier, broadcasting on the Avengers Emergency Frequency. Again. This is Winter Soldier, broadcasting on the Avengers Emergency Frequency. Again. If anyone is listening out there, my mission to infiltrate AIM was a success. At least until Modok and his nerd squad somehow recovered a bona fide Infinity Stone. I wasn't about to wait around and find out what they plan to do with it. So I blew my cover and grabbed their rock. I'm approaching a secure location with the stone in hand. But it won't take long for those eggheads to figure out where I'm headed and try to take it back. So, if you can hear this, Avengers, lock on to these coordinates and swing on by. It'd be a shame to be stuck in paradise all alone. These are the coordinates Bucky transmitted. So, where is he? I am told that AIM only worships science. But if any of you believe in the goddess, now would be the time to start praying. My fury will rain down upon you. <laughs> changing in 
our favor. <laughs> That's part of a Quinjet. Good thing the Winter Soldier was built tough. That means he's still out here somewhere. We need to keep searching. They will not dishonor this sacred land. Strike their barrier down at their sword. <laughs> Disable those turrets. We are easy targets where we stand. We must find a better angle of attack at once. Perhaps our enemies have unwittingly provided us with the means for their own downfall. <laughs> One step further, fools, or you'll be crashing harder than the Winter Soldier. Oh well, it was sound advice, but if you won't listen, I can make you! <laughs> hey, 
And it will be the last thing you ever hear. The noise came from over here. Sounded like a gamma bomb went off. In these jungles, it could be anything. You speak the truth. So it is best to beware. Lest the hunters become the prey. The fallen Quinjet is here, but the Winter Soldier is not. Could that be a blessing in disguise? <laughs> that parachute! The Winter Soldier must have ejected before the crash. I knew it. There's no way he'd go out without a fight. Knowing Bucky, it'll be one for the ages. Makes me feel sorry for him. There. We're almost back to the capital city. Hold them, my sisters! May Bast guide our hands! You do not stand alone, adored ones. Wakanda forever! The Dore Milaje are formidable. But even the best warrior benefits from strong allies. I'll solve this. have served your kingdom well, my trusted guardian. <laughs> the panther smiles upon us all. For my king. That will not be necessary. Not today.
not bode well. Not well at all. AIM has taken control of the palace's defenses. We must destroy the control modules. Once the control modules are destroyed, <sighs> Wakanda's defenses will be restored and AIM will be vanquished. <laughs> Did they really think they could turn a panther against you, T'Challa? Go now before more reinforcements arrive. We will keep the invaders at bay. <sighs> Let you go any further, I'm afraid. Modok still has plans for this one. And if he gets his prize, I get mine. Wakanda's throne. <laughs> Wondering when you'd show up. I've been better. Modok used his mental powers to poke around inside my head. And trust me, it's not pretty in there. Back when the Russians brainwashed me into their personal assassin, they implanted code words in my memory to keep me under control. If Modok found them, I won't be able to resist his commands. gets worse. Modok and his aim goons got their hands on the Soul Stone after the crash. They've taken it into the palace with them. No, but whatever it is, I'm pretty sure we won't like it. Ambush! <laughs> Aim forces are closing in. If you're hoping to stop Modok, you need to go now. I mean it. In there, I'm just a liability. A weapon Aim can use against you. <laughs> Let me buy you the time to finish the mission I couldn't. Don't worry about me. I've taken down the Red Skull. 
of you guys in beekeeper suit should be no problem. Now go! We are approaching the throne room, my friends. We huh. must find Modok and recover the stone before he can use it against my people. We must protect the palace! Stand back, friends. The Dora Milaje have this situation under control. There are forces at play here your feeble minds cannot begin to comprehend. Nothing is under your control. Concentration of psionic energy that you call a soul. This stone, so much power. I must have them all. <sighs> Fetch them for me, won't you, my dears? I have matters of great scientific importance that require my immediate attention. And in turn, the palace shall protect you. The Dora Milaje would never attack their king. The Soul Stone has corrupted them. Be careful not to harm them. They are not in control of their actions. It's nice to finally face opponents up to my level. I hate fighting your own crew, T'Challa, but they gotta be Scott. I'm afraid Modok has turned even more of your soldiers against us, Your Highness. Level up! <laughs> in Wakanda are safe. It is our duty to stop him. These corridors connect the royal palace to Wakanda's city of the dead. So these ruins are full of dead monarchs. Their bodies, perhaps. But their spirits now dwell on the Jalila. The spirit plane. They live on beyond the veil, guiding me when I need them most. Stick to science, gentlemen. Fighting isn't your strong suit. Those who choose to dress like that may not have a strong suit at all. Where's my hand? is as wise as he believes, he would have retreated to these catacombs. The 
palace holds more than just the remains of my ancestors. It is home to Wakanda's greatest treasure. Knowledge. Modok is still using Panther's bodyguards against us. We need to take them out. My father is buried here. I will not see this place to I fought by T'Challa's son. His name and his legacy are worth fighting to protect. The path has been blocked. I think we can all guess what awaits us on the other side. <laughs> I suspect Modok will be just beyond this corridor. Centuries of knowledge are etched into these walls. Ancient Wakandans called it magic. But there is no such thing. There is only science. It bends to my will. Now, so shall you. And then, the world! Your ancestors were ahead of their time, T'Challa. Thank them for me when I send you to meet them. This knowledge was not meant to be perverted by villains such as you. If everything is just an experiment, perhaps you'd like to test my The knowledge found here will grant me access to an endless supply of souls on which my stone may feast. But first... <laughs> An appetizer. How delicious! <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> already have, Modok, but you did succeed in one thing. You stirred the ancient warriors that reside here in this city of the dead. The Necropolis is now their home, just as Wakanda is mine. And we shall protect our homes at any cost. No, not science, Modok. Something far greater. Far, far greater. Your Majesty, if I may. Yes, of course. No man is fit to wield such power unchecked. Not even a king. Each of these stones is capable of shattering worlds on their own. Just imagine what they could do together. Yes. Just imagine.
so much potential. Yes, of course. But I'm beginning to understand why my father has sought to control the Infinity Stones. Their power is unfathomable. For now, yes. But I'd be lying if I said it wasn't taking a bit of a toll. It's almost like the stones are speaking to me directly, telling me to set them free. Yes. At least until we find an option to secure them for good. I agree. So, what do we do with the Infinity Stones now? We must take action to ensure that they do not fall into the wrong hands. There is only one hand on which they belong. The hand of Thanos. These losers just don't quit, do they? And thankfully, neither do you. If not for your efforts, we would have been forced to gather each of the stones ourselves. I will make certain that our master celebrates what you've done here. In your eulogies. We have come only to take the stones. But if you resist, we will take your lives as well. Don't listen to him. We still have a chance. His voice. So strange, but so familiar. I can read your every move before you make it. Come back and play! There, that chamber. We should be safe inside. This door will not hold them for long. Then we stand and fight until the end. What is this place? Thanks to Wakanda's ancient priests, the walls of the necropolis not only detail ancient history, they also give us a glimpse of the future. If it's literally set in stone, then how can we change it? As long as there's hope, there's always a chance, son. Ah, but he's not your son, now is he? No. No matter how he tries to hide it, this one has a familiar aroma about him. The sweet smell of death. I have heard whispers of you, Thane. My master's lost progeny. How proud he will be to have you by his side. He's already chosen which side he stands on. Then let him fall on it as well. I said, until the end. Wait! You came here for the stones, not for their lives. Thane, what are you? Take the stones. And if you must take a life, take mine. Just spare theirs. <laughs> Thanos shows no mercy to those who oppose his will. Thanos is not here. Huh? His son is. And we accept his offer. 
treacherous fool. This shall not stand. Perhaps the child is right. The stones are the true prize. With such power at our command, these heroes are nothing more than fleas. Death by our hands is not an honor they have earned. They deserve something much worse. Okay, we are definitely dead this time. Nay, I know this foul place well, noble Vernon. The Black Order hath banished us to the Asgardian realm of lost souls. Welcome to hell, mortals. Sadly, there is no easy escape from this realm. Protective magic prevents me from opening a portal. 